Hello and welcome to this project, new project where I will build an RGB LED, RGB LED controlled by potentiometers. To start with, I will start collecting my components, slide, potentiometer, and then I will show you how to use the Python or the uh, diagram JSON to change some values of those components. To start with, I will go to the diagram here, zoom, so you can see. I will go to my Bokwi slide potentiometer, then I will add a new attribute to it, so it's rotate to the value of 27 and then to my column. So this will rotate the value, rotate the uh, potentiometer to this side, like this. And then I will do the travel value of 20 to make it shorter a little bit. So this is a very important uh, to do that. So uh, my code or my, my uh, simulation or my circuit will be easy to handle. The same thing I will do to another slide potentiometer like this and I will copy the previous attributes copy and I will paste them again here okay so I have the other one now where is it okay pot 2 so I will do V and call this pot 2 which is the same at the top of it and then I will add another pot and I will call it pot 3 pot potentiometer slide potentiometer and I will go to the attributes of pot 3 and I will change it, control V, and I call this pot three, okay, and it will be on the top of here. So I added three potentiometers here, and this is my RGB LED. To start with, what I'm gonna do is to connect my RGB LED, the common, to the positive. I can always change the attribute of this to be common uh, uh, common cathode or common anode but it's by default it's common anode so uh, just be aware of this so this is connect connects to the positive I can go to change the wire here to red okay as you can see in this attribute here red okay. I, I'll connect the R to 21 I'll connect the G to 19. I'll connect the B to 18. So I have those here, and I always can change the attributes, the colors. This is green, I'll leave it green, or I'll make it yellow. Okay, and this is red. Okay. Oh, let me, let me make it pink. Okay, so I can know which wires I have. Okay, excellent. What I'm gonna do now is to start my coding. To start my coding, I will just comment this so it does not bother me. I'll start with the setup. I will pin mode. 21 is high is uh, uh, output pin mode 19 is output pin mode 18 is output then I will do analog write 
18 is for example 250 analog right 21 let's say it's 900 those are the values of the RGB LEDs I will explain it in a second <clears throat> 18 is 0 okay so what I did so far, I will increase my screen so uh, everybody can see it. I will zoom in. What I did is I used the analog write command on those pins just to check my RGB LED and make sure that each one gives different value. So 19, which is the green, so this is green. This is red. And this is 18, which is <coughs> blue. <coughs> blue. Excellent. Now I simulate to check that everything is working here. Okay, so this is the value. Let me let me do this. <clears throat> so you can see the green, only the green. Okay, so this is purple. It will be zero. This is blue. Maybe I messed up my, my the color. Okay, this is yellow. Let me check if I do another command, which is digital, right? And instead of analog, right? I will do digital, right? and check if the values of the values of the, the uh, will be different or not okay sorry yeah i forgot to add high and low so this is low this is low this is high because the command the digital write command is different than the analog write. Analog write takes a variable uh, input from zero. Okay, so this is, all right, this is yellow. Okay, let me do this high. And this is low. And check again. So this is blue. Okay. So this is low now and this is high. Okay. So this is red or we can call it pink. Okay, so those are, now I understood what does the uh, RGB do and how I can, I can control it using digital write or 
analog right. What I'm going to do now is to add my potenti potentiometers here. Uh, as you can see, the potentiometers, they have a ground port. So what I'm going to do, I will connect all the ground ports together like this and just connect them to the ground. This is the first thing I will do. The second thing, <clears throat> I will connect one side of them I will do that starting with port 25 26 27 okay now I have all three of them connected, so I will add here thin moods. 25 is an input. Thin mood. 26 is an input. Thin mood. 27 is an input. Okay, just checking 25, 26, 27, perfect, 25, 26, 27. Now, what I'm going to do is change all of those values. And instead of digital write, I will do analog write. Analog write. Analog write. And I will start reading the values. So analog read of pin numbers number 25. And I will keep this. I will have this here. So this, the value of the analog write to pin 19 is the value of the analog read of pin 25. The same thing I will do here. So this is the pin, the value of 26. And this is the value of 27. Perfect. Play. Okay. This is So I can play with the values of the colors here. Perfect. Thank you very much. This is the code of the program. It's a very simple program. We learned today about the RGB LED. We learned about the slide resistor and how to get the values of them into the RGB LED.